today. It's Constituency Day and MPs are in their respective communities where they're expected to be dealing with matters affecting their constituencies. This gives us time to take care of the week's proceedings in the National Assembly. Now, yesterday we brought you snippets of Deputy President Khalema Motlante's reply to questions raised by MPs in the National Assembly. And in our program today, we continue coverage of the Deputy President's response to those questions. We pick up on a question from the leader of the Congress of the People, Masia Lakota. He wanted to know what steps government has taken to prevent the abuse of state power and what action has been taken against those who have been found guilty of such behavior. In his reply, Deputy President Motlante said the Constitution and other laws governing the conduct of public office bearers and public servants provide for clear guidelines as to what public officials may and may not do in exercising state power. Should it be alleged that a public official has broken the law, the South African Police Service and National Prosecuting Authority should investigate and if there is enough evidence prosecute the alleged perpetrator of the offense. We also have the Special Investigating Unit, which investigates corruption and maladministration in government and reports to the President and Parliament. In addition, the Public Protector and the Auditor General, which are provided for in Chapter 9 of our Constitution, have the responsibility in the case of the Public Protector of investigating conduct in state affairs or in the public administration in any sphere of government that is alleged or suspected to be improper or to result in any improper conduct or prejudice. In the case of the Auditor General, there is the duty of auditing the accounts, financial statements and financial management of state bodies. These institutions play an important role in determining whether any member of the public or official has abused state power. There are also a number of other bodies who have the responsibility to investigate abuses of power by officials in specific sectors, such as the inspecting judge in the case of correctional services, the inspector general of intelligence with regard to intelligence matters, and the Independent Police Investigating Investigation Directorate in the case of the South African Police Service. What is important is that anyone who, anyone with evidence of abuse of state power must report such abuse to the bodies that I have listed above so that the allegations can be investigated and if found to be true, the perpetrator can be sanctioned accordingly. Thank you. Cope leader Masia Lakota had a follow-up question referring to specific cases of alleged abuse of power. Honorable Deputy President, in spite of all the things you have said, we have witnessed situations in this country in which, among others, members of cabinet have abused the public funds and gone to visit friends abroad uh, in spite of the police, we didn't see them get arrested. I thought that you would address the issue that I really want you to address is, what steps, other than what everybody else knows, when government is running its affairs, what steps have been taken to complement the, the information that everybody else has in public? I still wonder whether our money abused in the case of uh, former minister, Masangun Kabinde, the money that was wasted there. I haven't heard a report that that money was recovered. The money that was used by the late Shikega, who traveled abroad to visit his girlfriend with our monies. Was that money, was that money, I haven't order, heard a report. Order, honor members, order. I don't know why they are silent. I haven't heard a report that our money, our public funds were, were, were recovered that he abused. So it's correct that I must ask, I'm here in the, to ask what is being done to protect us from public funds that are being abused, these abuses. Honorable member. Uh, Honorable uh, Lakota, uh, over and above the institutions that I've mentioned, there is also the 
asset for feature unit whose mandate is to uh, confiscate any ill-begotten gains or wealth. As to, they do recover, yes, and, and uh, I'm sure they report uh, the cases where they, they, they were able to, to uh, confiscate uh, ill-begotten wealth. And that is the specific structure with that specific mandate. The specific cases that you've alluded to uh, uh, of uh, former ministers, uh, I'm not aware that there was any allegation uh, leveled against uh, former minister uh, Matlangu Nkabinde of uh, embezzlement or helping herself to public funds. And, and uh, if uh, you are perhaps aware of such, uh, I'm sure that uh, a, a note to uh, the head of the Asset for Future Unit uh, would, would, would see to that matter. Uh, as for the former minister, uh, Shikaka, may his soul rest in peace here. Thank you. We'll continue with questions to Deputy President Motlanti after the break.